I would like to request our speaker of the day, Dr. Naresh Tyagi ji, to kindly begin the keynote. <coughs> Namaskar. Uh, good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure to be here. Uh, all that uh, respective dignitary uh, audience, many people I know personally here. It's absolute delight to be part of this uh, eminent uh, audience and dignitaries. My understanding on that sustainability may not be as good as uh, uh, Dr. Dangre or uh, Mr. Mehta mentioned, but these are the two gentlemen who inspire me a lot to do. As a definition, today theme if we see Bhartiya, Indian, we know what is Bhartiya and what is it. We are talking about legacy of sustainability. I just want to ask everyone, anyone can tell what is the Hindi meaning of sustainability? Sanskrit or Hindi meaning of sustainability? No, except you. You are organized. <laughs> Anyone? It's not so difficult. We have been practicing it since ages. Shrikruti. Sorry? Shrikruti. Acceptability. Maybe one of the things. Anyone else want to try? In the Urdu? So I try to look into what is this sustainability is for us as Indian and as Bhakti. In Urdu it is called Kabile Tahid. Means what we do is good for everyone. Everyone appreciates it. I try to find other meaning in Sanskrit. Sata. Actual word is Sandhar Ranitika. Sandhar Niyeta. Means you have to do continuously something for betterment, something for society, something for every individual. And I was in I am Koji Code. It's one of the core principles they have. They've written sustainability and authenticity. And as per I am definition, sustainability is nitya, which you practice every day with authenticity. Nitya and nitya is the actual definition of sustainability. Uh, how I will move my slide? Yeah. So with that, uh, I will go with what is the actual definition. Next slide, please. Yeah. Thank you. This name sustainability is Latin word. It's more than 100 year old word. It says that ability of society, individual, corporate, to survive and thrive in the face of current and future challenge. And that's the sustainability. To sustain, to maintain, that is actual definition of sustainability. We know it, we have been practicing it. Now, for last five years, we hear this word everywhere. And uh, I thought, okay, it's good to know what sustainability we all understand as a definition. Why this is so important? We see a lot of global mega trend which impacts sustainability. Climate change, we experience it every day. Macroeconomic, how that world is becoming from bipolar to multipolar. Technology, which is disrupting everything today. Society. Not to forget, is also seeing a lot of impact of it. And then finally we see that, how is the geopolitics? People are talking more about nationalism, neo-nationalism. These are the factors which we are seeing globally impacting sustainability. World Economic Forum, they do every year that what is the top 10 risk, mega risk. And uh, you will be surprised that next two years, and next 10 years, maximum risk is related to climate and sustainability. 
This is the important thing which we all are seeing, observing, and it's not now time for theory. It is time to act, time to do something as an individual, as a corporate, as a society, as all of us to do. Our country, we are moving from developing to developed country. We know that how much pressure we have. Our Honorable Prime Minister has signed the of 26th place on net zero will be uh, net zero by 2070. Beautifully that uh, project LIFE has been launched. I think it is Indian version of lifestyle for environment. How we take care of everything surrounding us and uh, that uh, project LIFE is the Indian way of managing sustainability. We are seeing, seeing that uh, energy consumption going so high Every day we consume energy, how it is re renewable energy transition, that 2030 target is set, carbon emission is there. And with all that thing, we are seeing that the corporate also a lot of pressure because of a regulatory thing now. They have to do that, uh, all public listing company, they have to declare what they are doing on sustainability as a VR, SR, it's mandatory or all thousand listed company initially, but it is going to be that across any business, whether it is listed or non-listed. And still we are, mind it, we are still developing country. If we become developed country per person, what will the carbon emission will be doing that? So it's so important and so critical. And fashion as an industry, I spent almost three decades, not like round by 50 years, but I learned a lot from him. I have seen in last three decades how that garment industry or fashion industry is moving. Government price has not moved the way other fast FMCG or consumer good price has moved. Even it has become cheaper. That concept of something called fast fashion, make, sale, use and throw, it has destroyed all our ecosystem. Even we are seeing that not only developed country, developing country has more purchasing power per person consumption of garment is going very high. We have a lot of pressure on supply chain, consumption, and India and Asia is particularly seeing a lot of uh, pressure on that, whether it is water use, land use, or carbon footprint. And this makes our industry one of the most polluting industry. Everywhere I see it is most polluting industry. And, but we have to do something. Uh, others part of that society side is the one of the largest employment generating industry. After agriculture, it's second largest employment generating industry. So it's good to be in this industry, but same time we need to do something more for our... As an organization, I come from Aditya Birla Group, ABFR, Aditya Birla Fashion and Retail. We have 30 plus brand. Uh, we call it the uh, biggest brand and best people. Uh, very young organization, average is, is 29. Again, 56% uh, our employee is women. Very uh, kind of inclusive growth, large distribution uh, in India. What is sustainability? And uh, we thought when we started uh, uh, sustainability in 2012, we thought we need to do something in right articulation and right intent. We set our vision as a re-earth program which becomes synonym of uh, sustainability. We want to give back more what we take from ecosystem. We have 10 mission and all these mission has that clear target and activity what we are supposed to do. And 2013 to 2020, more or less all these target which was more about our own operation we call it resource efficiency, uh, we would make reasonably good progress. Seeing all that success and achievement till 20, we thought now we need to uh, raise the bar. We need to move the needle to that next version of it. And we came up with that sustainability 2.0, where we say we want, we'll do now beyond operation. We'll do not only supply chain, we'll do for the value chain. And everything will revolve around product-centric approach where you have resource efficiency to resource optimization. We took product design and development as a key theme. Then how we bring 
customer and consumer into that consumer centricity and supply chain. How we make the product, how we sort them. It's still a very ambitious program and a lot of target uh, looks a little far away from us. But uh, as in last 10 years, it has become part of business DNA. It's uh, enabled in our operation thing. We are sure that something will do better. In all that uh, last one decade journey, uh, as we are doing it uh, uh, for India and industry, we see a lot of validation of it through national and international uh, recognition. Uh, globally, in Dow Jones Sustainability Index, in Asia, we are the top company. For last three years, we are sustaining our leadership position in the sector. Globally, we are eighth. Even we are part of that their uh, global sustainability yearbook for last two years. National level, all that to any uh, platform, wherever we think that it's good validation, we are getting recognition, CII, Golden Peacock. Even our SDG goal deployment is so well. ESG principle, what we follow, we got that gold six uh, recognition for our SDG deployment. It's not easy. This industry has a lot of challenge. And uh, when I talk to people and I go to our value chain partner, once they see me, they immediately think that I am, I am asking something and they feel, oh, we'll get the good upcharge. They think that uh, sustainability means better price. It's not like that. Consumer is not willing to pay premium. It's very nascent in, in India. Uh, very less uh, appreciation in consumer mind to promote sustainable product. It's not still mainstream in India for product and packaging. It's the biggest challenge. There is no regulatory and unified guideline and policy for sustainable product, end-to-end -end value chain, packaging. This industry I have seen in last three decades, regard in terms of R&D and uh, scalability and same time technology adoption. So there is a lack of industry ecosystem uh, for circular uh, and sustainable textile. People do recycle yarn, they think that it is 10% more cost. It's used as a gimmick to upcharge something. Uh, it's still quality issue, supply chain is issue. Even 90% of our industry is still unorganized and uh, uh, MSME sector, which required to be part of this whole ecosystem to bring that mass movement which is not there because there is no incentive, there is no financial benefit to them. I feel that, too, okay, now G20, Indian presidency, is the best time. And it's not that we don't know what is sustainability. We know it. We have been doing it since ages. Now, we are learning it from Europe, what is sustainability. Hence, we find a struggle to find what is the Hindi word or Sanskrit word which is practice. It is best time to showcase to India what sustainability and theme of that Vasudev Kutumkam for this G20 is the very apt case. We know circular fashion. Uh, I, as a sibling, was using my elder brother clothes. We used to have only that uh, two garment which four people was wearing. Today, one person has five garment. So we know what is the circulating. We our uh, saris, jewelry, it goes to even multi-generation. Saris go as up to even uh, 30 years, 40 years. That's the culture we have. We are most climate adaptive clothing. We need to be vocal for local. We need to promote Indian art and craftsmanship. We have everything which we need. We have for resource consciousness and minimum wastage. Recycling and upcycling, who know better than us? Now we go to Nordic country and then they give us guideline. Uh, we need, we have been practicing it since long. We have forgot to do it now. And supply chain, we have everything available locally, source, product, this. Now with that, I would urge C20 and G20 through this uh, platform, that five-part agenda, what I call action agenda. We need to walk the talk. Because talking is too much, someone needs to walk the street and that, get that things in practical way. Life cycle thinking, 
how our whole life cycle, whether we design the product, we make the product, we sell the product, need to have redesigned model, meant to be made, re reusability, sustainable practice, manufacturing, low impact. This life cycle thinking approach is something I will recommend. One of the cases that our own brand, we have used this product for Archino, where we have looked end to end uh, how this product was made. Even in tag, we have that who has made it, where it was made. We will talk about transparency. I think life cycle thinking, you need to have that complete transparency and traceability. Second is sustainable raw material and tips. We cannot not have sustainable product if button and trim is not sustainable because you have to recycle it. You have to upcycle it. You have to make it recyclable. You have to use recyclable material. Material traceability and transparency is very critical because people claim and overclaim, but something else come on the ground. So how you bring that authenticity and traceability on the ground using technology and raw material? One of the product which we have used uh, our Liva Reviva. Our own fabric pre-consumer waste has gone there. It was converted into pulp, came back to our Peter England brand, and uh, we launched that as a uh, for uh, Peter England for art. Responsible manufacturing and supply chain, how we use resource efficiently, reduce it, reuse it, recycle it, renewable source of manufacturing. Some of the example, we are the largest uh, uh, facility in terms of number, factory warehouse, to have green certification. 12 lakhs square feet is green certified. And uh, even our warehouse, two of our warehouses, platinum standard in India, for example. Net zero, people talk about net zero, one of our facility is net zero water uh, by LEED certificate, US green building certification. Waste, in my opinion, there is no waste. It is inefficiency of manufacturing process or it's irresponsible consumption. How we minimize waste? We have something called zero waste to landfill. We are the first industrial garmenting unit worldwide to have to lead to waste certificate, all that principle of what it should be. Now, circular packaging. Product cannot be circular if it is not, packaging is not circular. One shirt of 300 grams, we were using approximate uh, 170, 180 gram of packaging material. Shirt, 22 item was used packaging. Today we have 65 gram of packaging. We have 22 item is only six item. Five tag we used to have, now it is two tag. And we have one product, one tag. Plastic free packaging, we have more to that uh, biodegradable and we launch something called better than plastic. 95% of our packaging is now biodegradable or sustainable. Last but not least, it cannot be done alone. It needs to be created as an industry ecosystem. Innovation needs to come from outside, not within. So how we bring more and more people uh, to close the loop, uh, how we get like-minded people to do something together. And this is an example. I'm proud to say that we work closely with CMI. Rao, I know it well. We were the first one signatory for sure where we assign place with Ministry of Textile uh, to a sustainable brand. We work with uh, Alan MacArthur Foundation, we work with the Circular April Innovation Factory to promote circularity and sustainability. With that, I'll simply end my presentation here. But for me, sustainability is very simple thing, which we have ourselves as complicated. And I find that sustainability when I was a child, I did my TED talk. And I will try to do that simple way of what a small thing we can do as an individual, as a society, or as a corporate person. I will encourage you to see it. Uh, it's 12 minute TED talk. I have done on sustainability. With that, thank you very much.